All right, so for us, we are, well, I guess we're called the eyes and ears for the police. So they rely on us. Uh, we get taskings each week from the police and we are um, asked to go into high crime areas just to fly the flag and to be watching out for different people. Our car is a marked car, we have a police radio and then we observe and that's our role is observe. Not to confront but to just sit there and watch and we have cameras in the car so if people are moving around they're on camera. So at the moment we have about 26 to 28 volunteers, it can be quite mobile. We've got um, I think our oldest volunteers in their 70s and the youngest is probably 20 or 21. It's the younger ones are heading for the police force. So while they're waiting and going through the process for the police, they come to us. You need to be a person that can be a team player because there's always, always two people in the car. It has, that's just our protocol. I want to give something back to the community. Um, I feel really blessed that I've had the life I have had and I wanted to give something back and I think um, we've always been um, the kind, a couple that goes out into the community doing whatever we can and this seemed to be a good way to involve, us, involve ourselves but also get others involved as well because we do neighbourhood support as well. We're definitely looking for volunteers, yes. It's very rewarding and you meet lots of different kinds of people. And like this morning, we had a morning tea with the police. They were thanking us because it was volunteer week, I think, last week. Um, and we are looking for night as well as day patrols. And they can come anytime and talk to us.